convent what's up welcome to my channel am i tripping or not tarot my name is cock frost but you could call me the ghetto nun so i'm here to do back monday yes i am so we'll do a you versus them right i don't know who the them is to you the them could be a, a romantic situation it could be work it could be family friends i don't know okay but we'll do a you versus them and then on patreon we'll do a uh April preview. Shit, I didn't even know the month was over. I was telling y'all the damn prayer event March 4th. I'm telling you, I'm like a whole month behind. I'm like, March is over? So yeah. So next week, I guess, is April the 1st, which is when the Mercury retrograde starts and all type of crazy shit, okay? So yes, the April preview will be on Patreon. Anyway, I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it, so if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with your sign nor situation, nor do I give a fuck. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in turn. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, shares, purchases to my website, and pledges to my Patreon. I love you. Too. I'm restocking the life like deck. Thank you, everyone. Uh, who's purchased, who tried to purchase, who thought about it, all that shit. I appreciate you so much. I will be restocking them, okay? So uh, I'll let you know, okay? Convent, we already know uh, your ancestors fucking people up. This just the intuitive messages I got before we start, okay? People just insist on, like, fucking with y'all or, uh, like, I, I don't know. Like, they think they can just do anything to you motherfuckers. You know what I mean? So, uh, I mean... That's why we just watching people just fall, drop dead, and all type of crazy shit coming out about them. You see, uh, it's going to keep continuing. I mean, this is like a, a as above, so below thing. And you see people getting their ass whooped and all type of shit down here, right? Falling off and all type of shit. I'm also picking up somebody been throwing witchy poo at somebody, right? I don't know what, what type of witchy poo that somebody's been throwing at you, uh, convent, if this resonates right. But you know who it is. Uh, whoever I'm talking to, you know who it is throwing this, and they're telling me that you think about this person's money, family, and children. So I don't know if that's how you transmuting that shit back, you know, if you get what I need. You know, somebody throwing something at you at the same time you thinking about their kid. What the fuck, G? What, what you think gonna happen, G? Okay? That's like some shit just I immediately making a fucking U-turn. Like, you know, somebody throwing something at you, and at the same time, you're thinking about this person's money. They lose their job. They It's something like that, G. Y'all some uh, bad mamma jammas when it comes to transmuting shit, and I don't even feel like you know you doing it. I just feel like you pick up on energy that fucking well, you know? Anyway, yeah, you heard the ancestor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, somebody don't know they've been throwing work at themselves. I mean, they've been throwing it at you, but the way uh, shit's transmuted, you just so happen to think about, just like you thinking about, I don't know. I don't know, you could be thinking about uh, anything about this person, I don't know. It's something like, I don't know. You could just picture this person in your head, G. At the same time, they throwing some shit at you and this motherfucker fall down. Some shit like that, G, I'm telling you, okay? People better leave you motherfuckers alone, okay? It said in the Bible, too, it says that true believers, there'll be signs of true believers. It says that they uh, will be able to grab snakes by their hands. They'll uh, be able to drink poison and won't get hurt. Um, they'll be miracle workers and all these things. So these people keep throwing this shit at you. They obviously don't fucking read, G. It says you can't be affected by those things. So they just wasting money, time, energy, fucking their kids up, their mom and them, all that shit. Okay, the Bible clearly says that shit for believers, though, and you guys are believers, so I don't know what why they do it. <laughs> anyway, I guess it's just shit, you know. Anyway, let's get started with the you versus them. We're gonna start with you, Booski. Give me one for the you. Now, you could be the them, okay? You figure out where you go if you, you, or you, them, okay? Give me something for the convent, which would be the you's. The star, yay, yay. I knew that was you. Look at you. Uh, coming up with a master number, 33 here. You could be a, a divine feminine, Pisces energy, Gemini, div uh, divine masculine energy. Uh, you could be some type of seer, prophet, healer, intuitive, whatever the fuck. 
uh, is what this is, Convent. Yeah, you're uh, healing right now. Some of you guys are uh, Sagittarius's or Capricorns as well, just because this is this Christmas tree here. So let's throw it all up in there, okay? But I feel like you and someone may be um, healing a connection, possibly, for some of you. Others of you, like I told you, Divine Feminine, you could be just balancing out, or Divine Masculine, balancing out your Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energy, like you're uh, regenerating is what they're saying. Yes, something about like cell regeneration or... I don't know. They're showing me like skin grafts. So some of you guys could notice scars start to lighten up. Look, message. Scars are starting to lighten up or uh, certain things like uh, that you didn't think possibly could be healed or fixed. They are, G. Okay? Or they will be. This is where you are right now. Some of y'all still got your Christmas tree up, okay? This is also your spiritual team. It says divine guidance. So you're being divinely guided right now, obviously. But I feel like you're, uh, you know you are. It's almost like you're uh, waiting to be divinely guided. You know what I mean? As far as you're not making moves and decisions strictly based on what your mind is telling you to do. You wait for the answers is what this is. Yeah, you sure look like a master to me. Shit, that's what's up. Some of you guys are in entertainment, are in... Uh, tarot land um in the medical field some of you guys are healers therapists uh interior design or exterior i don't know something like that botanist all types of shit herbalist it's something about you healing but it feels like more so they said on a molecular level i don't talk like this cell regeneration and molecular and all this but that's what they said g so some of y'all are actually healing, like there could be some ailment or some sickness or some shit like that, or you just protected G, you know what I mean? You just covered in, in the shine and shit, I don't know. You seem to be doing very well, you, you do. Put some down for them, whoever the them is, we don't know. Mirror reflection. Oh, so this is somebody who don't know who they are. Didn't we pick this up in y'all's readings, uh, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine? Somebody's definitely projecting, though. Mirror, someone's uh, watching you heavy. It could be an Aquarius. Or the crazy shit is this is the damn star again, but it's not, though. So somebody's trying to uh, be like you. Them. This is the star. That's the actual star, which will represent the two, right? Aquarius energy. This person, the them, or whatever this is, is trying to, like, reflect something to you or project something to you or they're mimicking you but i don't even really feel like talking about these motherfuckers copying your ass so first man you know what i was reading today that was in the bible that was dumb as fuck and it's not that the bible was dumb but the story was dumb so it said after jesus raised lazarus right and he went on his way he and eventually came back uh to lazarus's house which is when he was there with mary and martha right when he got his feet washed and everything right um, and so all the people had heard about, you know, him going to Lazarus's house or whatever. And the, the high priest there, I think it was the Pharisees or something. They were mad at Lazarus. You know what I mean? Cause he was getting shine. Like he the dead man walking around, you know what I mean? Like, so everybody was kind of on Lazarus's, you know, jock and shit. Right. How about the, the Pharisees or the high priest was like, yeah, we're going to plot to kill Lazarus. I thought that was the dumbest thing ever. Like if Jesus just raised him, don't you think he could raise him again? Like, you know, if he wanted to, like, this is, I was reading like, this is stupid. You're going to kill a man that died, that was raised from the dead by his best friend. It's his best friend. He can, it's just, it was weird to me, G. These are these people. I said all that to say, these are them, G. Okay. It, it sounds so stupid. It's like uh, somebody telling a lake they going to uh, not give it no water and shit. Like, what? <laughs> like, what? I, I am water. I am this. That's, that's you here. Okay? Someone trying to reflect something on, to you. I feel like it's somebody trying to really project something onto you. Almost like um, the way they feel, what's really going on with them. Someone keeps trying to send you some energy. Somebody could be trying to make you feel bad for not wanting to reconcile or not healing something with them. Or someone may want you to see them as like they need your help or some shit. This could be somebody wanting like pity and shit like that. Like, don't you see me hungry? Don't you see me? Like this type of shit. You see him? You do. But you're not about to jeopardize your shit, okay? Because uh, I feel like whoever this is is uh, supposed to be here. This person could go out and club all the time or party, drink. Uh, whoever this is definitely has no identity. 
So this is somebody who assumes identities and shit when they go around certain people that they admire or they like or they want to emulate and shit like that. This is somebody who soaks up other people. They don't soak up game. They soak up identity. Ain't that stupid? <laughs> If you just think about it, like, how you gonna soak up one part of the person, like, but not the part that made the person? It's like somebody just wants to put on your costume or some shit. Mm -hmm. Somebody out here weird, G, but, I mean, fuck. It's been going on, shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all already know what it is, okay? Told you. For those that know. Anyway, it is some celebrities out here uh, stealing other celebrity swag. Fuck y'all. Okay? Stars are born. Okay? Who is this? Okay, some of y'all are in the entertainment industry and you're just naturally talented, creative. Like, God put that in you. Like, that that talent, that, that spark in you to where, you know, we would be the type of people to enjoy your craft, whatever this is. There's somebody else in entertainment. If it's not entertainment, it could be whatever job y'all work. But it's somebody else in your field of work and shit that uh, they saw you up in that shit, and they like, oh, I wanna do it like, th like, like them. I wanna, I wanna be like them. I wanna have the same type of, this is this person. It's pathetic, G. It's pathetic. Whoever this is must forget that they got hired as well. So if this is a job, this is like, well, you're here. Like, I'm hired, you're hired. Why are you trying to do what I'm doing when you're in the same position or you have the same type of resources or tools or management, super, like you have the same shit that I have. So why are you trying to sit at my desk when they gave you a desk? It's like this type of shit, okay? Somebody nosy as fuck. The them is nosy as fuck. They all up in your shit, okay? I do see uh, stalkers out here too. Them is stalking you, okay? Especially if them is like a uh, the same, they do the same thing as you because this is the star and that's the star. All the shit that I named, this person has tried to do the same thing as you, okay? Whatever job you do or whoever you've been with, this person is trying to fuck your person, okay? Or wants to fuck someone who looks just like your person or their brother, their cousin. This this type of motherfucker right here. Ugh. They're disgusting, G. This, this, this is, ugh. Somebody's like borderline sick, you know? Like this gives me somebody that would like... see what you eat like say you you know put on i don't know this video that posts on social media but you could be like oh i had a really good mediterranean meal today at what whatever whatever best believe this person want to go eat that mediterranean food or go now they're intimate if they can't eat at the same restaurant they damn sure into Medi mediterranean food now it's like i mean there's nothing wrong with someone liking mediterranean food but you're going to start to notice or if you don't notice i don't know I'm just picking up on what's coming up out here. This person stay on your ass. They know everything you fucking do, G. It's like a walking fucking, the them, right? Them is a walking fucking you, yeah, G, okay? But like the bootleg version, like the swap meet version and shit, you know? It's not Chanel, it's channel. You know, it's got two ends in the motherfucker. It's this type of shit. That's them, okay? Somebody a low budget ass version of you, okay? Oh my goodness. They must really hate being them. That's the only conclusion I could come up with with that. Some of y'all were born to do something, use, right? You guys were born to do something. Some of this shit was passed on down to you or just you were divinely guided to, to be the type of person you are or be on this journey or whatever it is that you have. You were divinely guided to have that, be that, go that way, all that shit. Somebody is really... um infatuated with that shit they're so infatuated with the shit they can't even hear what god where god is telling them to go where to be because they so infatuated with what god has you doing g this person is like sick g this person damn sure is spiritually sick for sure g their spirit is all fucked up and you know if you got a sick ass spirit or soul or anything like that you might as well call your flesh a fucking rap g for sure the flesh ain't worth shit anyway you know that's why this person is always mimicking people uh, they flesh uh, runs them completely and shit. Completely. Okay? Oh, wow. Anyway, put some on the dang stars now. Plural. Yeah, it's a lot of y'all. Not necessarily in entertainment, but they're talking about you, the convent. Like, it's a lot of you guys in here that are uh, carry this type of healing energy or this light. Put some on these stars here. Stars and diamonds, they said. Yeah. Well, I'll be damned. 
Ten of Pentacles came out reversed with the Ace of Pentacles upright. It fell on the floor. I'm going to put it back. Yeah. Um, convent, usually the Ten of Pentacles upright is ancestors to me, but this feel like some mean ones, G. Okay? It's on the you side. Okay? This They feel upset. Okay? This is uh, with the Ace of Pentacles. This is like some uh, really strong energy that's coming from your side. But remember when I said it's not really you. Remember I was like, you transmuting energy, but it's not really you doing it. You know what I mean? It's not. It's like... I mean, you are, but it's hard to explain to a pentacles. I feel like y'all know. That's just the way balance is. That's just the way uh, things are, like for you type of people, okay? As far as like healers, believers, seers, uh, prophets, uh, star seeds, and all this other shit, that's just the way that it is. You're here to do something, G. So that can't be disrupted. So I'm not surprised that your ancestors, like I told you before we even started, the Ten of Pentacles came out reverse, ready to get up at somebody ass, okay? It don't even feel like your nana and them. It feel like somebody else or some other folk, okay? With big energy, big dick energy, they said. Mm-hmm. Ooh-wee. All right, put some on the stars now. I told you. Nine of Wands, they ain't playing. This is spiritual protection right here, okay? That nine of wands, who getting past him? Some of y'all are protected, but I told you, these don't feel like, I mean, and this the you. You see that demon thing at the top? That's why I said this don't feel like your good uh, ancestor spirit guides, and not in regards to you, but I mean, shit, now. If we all carry dark and light, then surely you, some of you, right, are protected by both, the dark and the light. Some of y'all are dark spiritualists out here, okay? And you on the you side, which is on the R side. But, uh, I, shit, I don't know why you, you know, I don't want to get too deep into it. But for some reason, they threw dark spiritualists on the R side, which would be the you, the convent side. Because, I mean, shit, maybe somebody trying to dabble in dark arts. Somebody trying to reflect a dark witch or a dark occultist out here. And the dark occultist knows what they're dealing with. They know they're dealing with demons and, and, and all type of deities and dark entities and shit. And somebody want to be dark just like them. You know, even their dark ancestors protect them from this motherfucker trying to mimic them. It's like, I don't know. Everybody's like, um, yeah, they said squatting up. Yeah. Everybody is squatting up. Mm -hmm. Back to you, because I ain't talking about dark occultists, but that's what they had said. This is spiritual protection, comment. You could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius, uh, Gemini, Pisces, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine here with the six. That's the lovers. Did I say Gemini? I think so. Um, Capricorn. Or this could be your north node with this star here. But I just, whatever sign it is, okay? I do see you being, like, divinely protected by the light and the fucking dark, G. Okay? Somebody's, uh, on. The, if I put this on the them side, it could be a fire sign or an Aquarius. They've been blocked. Somebody don't have access to your energy. And that's why they at the Mediterranean spot and trying to figure out uh, where you put Lumi on your body. Do you rub it on your knees too? This like this. Somebody want to know every fucking thing about you. Whoever the them is, they want to know everything. This somebody, they showing me somebody uh, dissect somebody's boo-boo and shit and pick the food and stuff out. I'm telling you, G. I know that sounds disgusting, but that's what they're showing me, G. Yeah, but I still love to wash in your old bath water. Yeah, somebody's name could be Gwen or Stephanie. Or shit, Stephanie, but I'm hearing Stephanie. Yeah, share a toothbrush. Yeah, somebody, oh, somebody, uh, sick. Y'all remember in that movie, The Perfect Guy, if you saw that shit, where that, uh, Michael Ely went in that girl bathroom, Sanaya late this bathroom, and, like, put her toothbrush in his mouth and was rubbing that shit and sucking all on it and shit? Yeah, that's them. They give me some weird ass energy here, okay? They do. Somebody could be a Capricorn Aquarius cusper on the you side, okay? Some of y'all really need to protect yourself from a them, okay? This them could be like kind of uh, sexually confused, okay? I feel like they do things behind the scene, like they present themselves as a straight person, but this person is gay or lesbian, so this feel like a same-sex person, or this a couple, or I don't know, gee. Mm -hmm. It could, it don't even have to be a same-sex person. This person could really uh, already be into the same sex, and you are the opposite sex of this person, and this person is stalking your ass. I don't know. The them. The them is. This, uh, them could have been born in the 70s, okay, with this whole disco theme and shit, okay? 
or them is you. Mm -hmm. I don't like the energy of them with the reflection. Unless, I mean, shit, if you were them, then maybe you're reflecting something. We'll see. Let me not even go in there and confuse you. Put one down here. Have you ever seen a crowd go ape shit? Man, did I not fucking say this shit, G? Look, y'all think I be bullshitting about this whack asshole, but I really don't. But let's move on and shit, okay? But that's what this card is. Five of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius energy out here, okay? This could be, uh, this ain't in the North Nology, okay? <laughs> okay, this is somebody who can't get into your energy, though. I told you, look at them, all pissed off and mad. Yeah, they can't. You give on, I give, but you can't go in. <laughs> Fucking uh, going crazy. This could be some lover, y'all. Okay? This could be a lover here that just, like, can't get, uh, you know what I mean? Like, you won't give them the time of day. This could be somebody that calls constantly, texts constantly, and you won't respond. Whoever this is, this person could be older than you or they too old to be acting like this. For sure. This that motherfucker that break up their own shit. Uh, where I always be like, why are we, you know, you ever like been around somebody and they just start getting mad and tearing up their own shit? And it's like, I never understood that. And to this day, I will always say that. Let's go fuck up somebody else's shit. <laughs> why are we fucking up our shit? I never understood that shit. This is them. Like, just go home and trash their TV, their own shit though. You know, like, um, okay. You know, I mean, shit, if that's what you want to do. They always regret it later, too, with this star. Now they sitting there trying to fix shit, repair shit. This is who this person is. Or they're talking about a relationship or some type of connection with you. They fucked up their own shit, meaning you were part of, these are wands. So you are connected to this person some type of way, or you would have been a benefit to this person. Beneficial could have helped heal this person and shit. But they fucked it up. I don't know if they try to go against you. It's like somebody trying to compete with you or that's jealous of you and you motherfuckers related or married or on the same team or you came here to help them and shit and I fucked some shit up. But then they got greedy or jealous or because you got more attention. This is this type. This is them, G. This is them. So they at home or at their office or whatever the fuck fucking up their own shit. You like, long as you don't come over here fucking up my shit, fuck up your shit then. Shit, says you. Yeah. All your shit protected, okay? From the rooter to the tutor, okay? I'm talking about from the hair on your head to the bottom of your feet, okay? Your children, everything. This makes me feel like small shit, uh, even little things. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know. Like your clothes are durable. You know what I mean? I don't know. Just real small shit. Like when I don't know somebody else's clothes could be falling apart. This is like somebody furniture when they sit in the chair, the legs just break. <laughs> you know, on the them side. It's like your shit sturdy. It's built on a solid foundation. Look at that rock right there. Okay. So you cannot be moved. Okay. Let's see why the them is mad. You don't really care. You're like, I don't give a fuck. As long as they don't bring that, uh, Eight bullshit over here to my shit. I don't give a fuck what they fucking up. Okay? This person, whoever the them is, they're attacking other people now. Whoever the them is, right? They, they can't get to you anymore, comment. You've been spiritually protected from this person, or you've put up some type of boundary, energetic boundary or something, or they just know not to come over there fucking with you. Because the them can't do something to you, the them is going to go abuse somebody else or try to do something to someone else that they deem weaker than them. Okay? Somebody's about to take their anger and frustration out on somebody. So because some man or some woman couldn't get back what you couldn't fuck or you don't want to hear that shit, they went home and uh, beat or violently fucked on someone else and got real drunk and high. This is this type of person. This is the them. They're reacting horribly to whatever you have blocked them out of. They are. Yeah, it's a, who is this hand? Whose hand is that? Down there on the floor. I'm telling you. They taking some shit. They trying to fuck up somebody else's shit now. Uh, whoever this is, this could be a whole family because I feel like all of this is connected in some type of way. This is like either uh, all spiritualist, right? All in the family, all in like a, a, a job or an industry or some shit like that where there's someone that goes around or it's like some relationship, right? Where someone goes around like just abusing people and shit because they can't get to the top person they probably can't get to the top at all or they're falling off or nobody wants them like that or nobody looks at them like that anymore there's it's something like that so they're upset they don't know how to handle that shit so they go around like assuming identities right and then attacking people they tried that shit with your motherfucking ass is what the fuck they had tried g what the f and you uh settled that shit real quick because the four of wands is what makes the nine so it's like come to my motherfucking house four of wands is come to my house bitch come to my shit though 
I ain't coming to this old whatever shit. I don't come to your shit fucking with you, but bitch, come to mine. That's why you sitting outside like this. I'm telling you, you. That's why you sitting outside like that. This like, don't start none, won't be none. Gee, I'm minding my own business, trying to save money for Christmas, okay? For the holidays or whatever it is. It's just like, just trying to like do you. Like, I don't want no more than less than what's mine and shit. And y'all come over here with this bullshit, whoever the them is. I feel like you had to like, you know what I mean? Let somebody know, convent. Now the them is over there straight tripping on somebody, G. And it ain't you. They know better. Like, yeah, you better go back home and break up your shit, motherfucker. Okay? That's what this is. Look at you. You telling them, yeah, you better go home and break up your own shit. Okay? You feel like breaking something. Okay? Being broke your fucking neck coming over here. Says you. Okay? Woo. It ain't nothing but wands out here, okay? Uh, your spiritual team out here whooping up on somebody's ass. This is the nine of wands with the star. They on they side, on the them side, fucking shit up. Okay? Your the them your you ancestors is fucking them up. Okay? Somebody that had a fire, a house them burnt down or caught on fire or a small fire or some shit like that, G. Okay? Ooh, I'm not saying that. Ooh. I'll just put it to you this way. Um Somebody's ancestors got mad at Moscow is what they said. They said mad at Moscow. I don't have nothing to do with that. I don't know nothing, okay? I just report the tarot news, okay? I just heard it was a concert and they came up in their trip, AG. I don't know who was connected to who, but that's what they said, okay? But that's on the them side, so I don't know what the fuck going on with that. But they're telling me it's connected to... Uh, you somewhere not necessarily you but you could be watching i don't know let's move on okay mm -hmm. shout out to uh moscow russia shit we ain't got no beef over here in the convent i mean you know what i mean shit i pray that y'all well shit and if anybody's family or friends or anybody is, was up in that shit my condolences that was fucked up shit what the fuck they had to do with it it's like this type of shit but that is happening to them you know what I mean? Not to be rude or nothing, but it's like, you know, that's what this law is. This as above, so below shit. We've been talking about casualties of war and all this shit, G. Okay? How come other people's uh, concerts and venues and shit, you know what I mean? Don't They don't have none of them issues, G. And some of these uh, entertainers or people do. Or sometimes uh, you'll see people in certain, like, relationships. And it's like, how come you always got all these motherfucking problems? And you the type of person, your relationship running smooth. Or it's people online. Like, how come y'all always got beef and all this other shit? And it's like, you know what I mean? You kind of keep it to where, you know what I mean? You charge for beef. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this type of shit. Like, nah. Uh, that's what this is. Somebody is retaliating against someone else who doesn't have their boundary set up as well as you do. Um, some, that person's being attacked by someone who tried to attack you, G. Or that's that transmuting energy. Now, it could be this person trying to send you the them, right? Trying to send you that witchy poo, that energy I told you about. And they want you to break up your shit and fuck up your life. And you like, I think they fuck not. Nah. Like, I love myself and my life uh, and my shit. No. I think about your house. <laughs> I think about where you live, says you. And that's why they up in there fucking up their own shit. Somebody may not even know why they breaking up shit or mad at everybody and everything because you transmuted that energy back to their ass. Pretty much. And that's what this says. So now I do want to put one on you, uh, Nine of Wands. So now that I got more of the story, fuck them. Let them burn up their shit, so. Um, put one on the nine of wands here with the U's, which is the convent here with the star. Look at this. Hello. They can't fuck with you's. Hello. This ancestor, I know this is the judgment card, but damn, don't this feel like something else though when we've been talking about ancestors and spirit guys. I said you got, uh, spiritual protection from the upper room and the lower. Okay. How you got a devil and angels, G, that protect you. Okay. So your ancestors and spirit guys that are, I guess, or some dark energy or whatever that's sent to protect you or help you. But I've told y'all that before. It's not necessarily that it could be dark uh, angels and shit that are sent to protect you. But you remember when I was telling y'all before, I'm like, people try to send us shit, right? 
uh, and we're already battling demons, Nine of Wands is a battle. So is Five of Wands. And Nine of Wands is a way bigger battle, but we almost threw it. This Five of Wands, they got a little bit more to go. So this somebody who ain't even learned, Laverne, okay? They ain't even close to doing half the shit or been through half the shit your ass been through. This a shelter motherfucker over here, the them, okay? Is what this is. So that's why I said, whatever someone tries to send you, this it, it's like not even equipped to battle the demons that you battle, okay? This somebody who got a... Uh, like an identity issue, like I said, and so they want you to question yourself, who you are, when you out here trying to figure out, you know what I mean, like, how to battle shit, like, I don't know, it could be drug addiction, poverty, it could be like some real shit, you know what I mean, like, uh, some health issue, this is like some shit like that, and somebody wants you to question who you are, and all this other shit, like, bitch, I know I'm in pain every day, bitch, I know who the fuck I am, yeah, so that's why when this shit get, not that you in pain like that, but it's almost like, Whatever they're trying to send you. You know what I mean? We have good days and great days, but it's almost like, you know, there's something that ails everybody every single day. I don't care who you are. Where it's like, you know what I mean? It could be some deep shit from when you were a kid. You know what I mean? Like, you could have just been abused as a kid your whole life and got tough-ass skin. And now somebody wants you to question who the fuck you are? I mean it like this. So not saying, like, you in pain every day, but I mean to even, like, create the person that you are. You went through something, G. Whatever this is, you a fighter uh, with this judgment here and this nine of wands. Yeah, you're a fighter and shit, and you know it. You're for, you're here for something. It's like fighting to live, fighting to be, fighting to, you know, do something. It's like a reason, a reason to live and shit. This motherfucker don't have one. So how somebody who don't have no reason for living, being, don't even know who the fuck they are, try to send some shit at you. That's why it get transmuted back, and it also gets transmuted back with a little pinch of your energy, which is heavy as fuck, okay? Somebody can't handle it. Okay, that's what this is. And somebody also know you'll get up in that ass and your spiritual team will too. Uh, the judgment is a fucking knowing. Libra energy out here, judgment is always Libra. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Pisces, Gemini, uh, Capricorn, Aquarius. Uh, could be Sagittarius as well. Divine masculine, divine feminine energy with the six. Yes, G. Okay, somebody know your spiritual team will get up in that ass and somebody know you'll get up in that ass if you had to, but it makes me feel like your team is handling it. So this could be somebody who just assumed that your spirit guys was Nana and them. You know what I mean? And and your auntie May May and all them, all of them and shit. And, and it is and shit. But some, they, they're telling me some of y'all don't even know the, the entities or the whatever that protect you. But back to what I was saying, these demons that you fight constantly every day within yourself, are uh, whooping these demons, the them's demons, whatever they're sending to you. You know, it's like a kindergarten demon trying to fight a eighth grade demon. You know what I mean? Like I've been going to this school way longer than you. Yeah, that eighth grade demon whoop up on that kindergarten demon ass, G. Why somebody over here think they fucking with you? It's the it's the ass beating of their life. Okay, it's the ass beating of their life. So somebody thought they were depressed at first, right? And then they try to send some energy at you. Now they real depressed. Now they thinking about checking out this motherfucker and all this other shit, okay? When they wanted to send you some shit like that. And you like, I've been battling thoughts like that since a kid, motherfucker. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, that's why that shit get transmuted back too. Some of y'all are way further along on your journey, which is a very hard one. For the use is what this is saying. Whatever y'all dealing with, it could be family issues. And somebody wants you to feel left out of something. Like, bitch, my family made me feel left out my whole life. Good luck with that, right? So it's like, it's like some shit gets automatically... Somebody thinks they know you so well that they're attacking demons that you battle with or you just deal with every day. That you just learn to, to live with every day. Somebody wants to send you a familiar, G. Okay, that they don't know nothing about. Okay, that shit coming back to whoop them's ass. It is, and it feels like a physical ass whooping. Not like they get beat up by someone, but like some some type of uh, energy manifesting the physical, and it fuck they shit up. It does. Mm. That's what them get. <laughs> If I bring that five of wands over here with the judgment, Libra energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius over them, or shit, this just somebody mad because they know why shit fucked up in their life. Pretty much. They losing people dropping like flies around this motherfucker. I told you, look at that. The upper room. Motherfuckers dropping like flies, okay? They losing their whole uh, team. You squatting up over here, I told you. Okay, on the spiritual and on the physical. You really are. This is like support from other people that like wanna uh like they um they believe in what you do. So this is like somebody that would invest in you. I'm picking up on this energy here in regards to you where people stand behind you and shit. You know, they support whatever your mission, whatever your 
uh, purpose is. People believe in that shit. Yeah, somebody out here mad about that shit. So the way they take it out is they go fuck up their own shit. I'm good with that. What say you, convent? Shit, long as I say, look, they don't fuck up your shit, I don't give a fuck about them fucking up their shit. Somebody out here about to go through like seven years of just fucked up ass shit. If this person lived that long, I put that shit on everything. Okay? Mm-hmm. You see that broken mirror back there? Okay? Seven years, G. Mm -hmm. This could be somebody married. I heard the seven year itch. Ain't that something to do with marriage or something like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, them all fucked up. Okay? And them know why. Okay? You uh, over here, comment look like you ain't had to do shit. I see you on guard. You know what I mean? Which is good. This is like, uh, this nine of wands is giving me like, you know, keeping you, staying grounded, you know what I mean? Trying to stay positive and shit, keeping your energy clear, you know what I mean? Uh, being aware of your surroundings, your own vices, know the devil within you, you know, know the devil you're battling. That's why I said, you know the demons that you battling, he right above your fucking head. This demon here, this ain't no match for no motherfucking eight, G, what the fuck is this? Okay? He'll eat him. <laughs> it's like what this is, Okay? So I feel like a lot of y'all not flexing your power like you could too, convent on some real shit. This says like you could really like get in your bag and shit in your dark motherfucking bag. Somebody may want you to get in your dark bag, but I feel like they're not even ready for that shit. And you know that, which is why you just keeping it cool and letting your ancestors handle some shit. But they ain't ready for their bag neither. But it's better that it's on their hands and not on yours. It's like letting your spiritual team handle it. Uh, and they are shit. That shit being handled, G. Put one on the monkey. I got to know now. Godzilla, yeah, this, um, uh, not Godzilla, but they're showing me like, well, shit, yeah, you're Godzilla, yeah, and then this is King Kong, and they saying, uh, you saying King Kong ain't got nothing on me, I don't know, shit, it's about this, you could be from Washington, I don't know, DC or shit, Seattle or some shit, I don't know, okay, shout out to all y'all though, but that's what they said, you said King Kong ain't got nothing on me, and King Kong know it. That's why he went home and beat up on King Kong yet and the King Kong lits and all this other shit. It's not funny, but what else he gonna do? But tear down banana trees in his own jungle. I know you ain't coming over here. Yes. Yeah, and stay there, hang man. Yeah, Pisces energy out here. Yeah, they could stay bad, G. This person is still bad, G. But they're fucking up their own shit now, so we don't care, okay? That's literally what this is. Yeah, somebody wanted to control some shit. Yeah, this motherfucker's stupid. Fool card with the uh, strength card. This is somebody who got an ego problem and shit. But they're really stupid. That's this person. That's why I was laughing at the ones who said they were gonna kill Lazarus after Jesus just raised him from the dead. These are people that are just full of power. But it sounds real dumb, don't it? It does. Like, uh, I mean, he could raise him again if he wanted to. It's almost like. Uh, and let's not even take it that way. What if, uh, let's just say hypothetically, right? Let's say that they did try to kill Lazarus because Jesus raised him from the dead and he getting all this shine and shit. Jesus could be like, you know what? I'm tired of y'all. How about y'all drop dead and I don't have to keep raising Lazarus? You know, they didn't even think that far. Like if this man raising up people from the dead, what the hell makes you think that he can't do other things? I feel like they starting to realize it. Like, you know, somebody can't take you out or can't take something from you or make you feel some type of way and shit. You keep out, I don't know what you keep doing, G. You keep showing somebody or some people something that you can't fucking be faded, G. Period. On the spiritual and on the physical. And if it happens to be on the physical, the spiritual gonna get real active with they ass. Somebody done seen this shit, okay? Believe that in regards to you. Now them is just mad and so they fucking up they own shit. They around a bunch of rats, people that don't fuck with them or they beating on bitches or you know what I mean? They, they fucking around with like little hood rats and shit and going to clubs and somebody's destroying their life pretty much. Somebody who wanted you to destroy your life and shit or wanted you to feel bad about your life, right? When you kind of not been feeling bad about your life but you're starting to feel better about life. Let's say that. You're starting to feel better about life. This somebody who's still stuck in some old ass shit. You could have been feeling like this back in the day. Like, yeah, well, I was just destructive and shit, drinking, some, you know, doing all this fuck up shit, hanging out with bad, like all that shit. Somebody wants you to feel like that or go back to that shit, man. They crazy as fuck. Somebody taking it real bad. <laughs> they are. I don't think this is you. I really do think this is you over here. It look real calm, G. It look real calm. This look like peaceful music, jazz and shit. It's like a good smells in the house, lavender, pine, cedar, 
uh, frankincense, myrrh, uh, you know what I mean? This is like this type of shit is what's, what it's giving me. This nine of wands is really giving me protection, like sage and whatever y'all use. Let's not put shit out there, right? Whatever y'all use that's been protecting yourself, get that shit working like a motherfucker. Whatever you've recently done to block some energy, keep doing that shit on the you side. That shit fucking they ass up, and that's all you have to do. It don't feel like you have to do much. This like, uh, say some of y'all got some type of, uh, what is that shit called? I know it's an oil, but it's a specific one, though. I don't know. Say you have some oil that just uh, protects you from protection oil, basically. You're like, all I have to do is shake, shake, shake. Dab behind the ear, boop, boop, right? This like this type of shit. And literally that's all you had to do, G. I don't know what y'all are doing, but what, it doesn't work up, a, you don't work up a sweat or anything. It like calls ancestors. I don't know what you do, G. I don't know what you do, but you don't break a sweat at all. I don't know, it could be Florida water, okay? You could have put it in a spray bottle like tap, tap, tap. <laughs> and that's it, G. I don't know what it is. But it's fucking somebody shit up. Okay? Wow. Lady, I'm gonna have to block you. Huh. Anyway. Nine of Wands uh, with the judgment and the star on the you. Be aware of being scammed and shit. You know how like, you inquire about some shit? And then they're like, if you're interested, you know, reply, let me know, boo, boo, boo. And, you know, I didn't reply. Bitch, I'm not interested. Why are you still texting me? Okay, that's how you be knowing shit. Like, bitch, you hard up? No. It sound real full gazy, bitch. I didn't even tell her what my job is. I'm just inquiring about something. Uh, that's the great thing about being an intuitive man. And you don't tell people, right? And you just go do conducting regular business and shit. Mm -hmm. You could tell when a motherfucker just thirsty for your energy or your money or something. Like, girl, boy, bye. Okay? Anyway. Put something on the uh, Nine of Wands with the Judgment and the Stars. Hey, always hungry and can never sleep. I'm going to put it back just because that's what I was saying. Okay? It's some thirsty motherfuckers out here. Like that really want like your money, your energy, your time, your pussy, your dick. Uh, your ideas, uh, everything, G. Your Mediterranean food recipe, everything, G. Okay, somebody just wants to be, like, in you. I don't know, and not even in a sexual way, but, like, I can't even describe it. But that's what this reflection shit is. This is somebody who has no, the them has no access to you. And the, the, the people the them has access to, they're not pleased with those people. So if somebody wanted a uh, divine masculine, divine feminine back, and y'all like, hell fucking no, I don't want to fuck with you, right? Go back to Tatiana, Tatiano. They're very displeased with Tatiana, Tatiano, or the, the pickings, okay? <laughs> you hear them little rats? People just after their money and all this other shit. This person, money getting ate up, or them, their money's all fucked up, and they still blowing it. If this is somebody in debt, they still blowing this shit at clubs or partying, liquor, weed, dope, all this shit. Whoever this is. Somebody is, uh, Divine Masculine had that in his reading. Not that it's you necessarily Divine Masculine, but as far as someone spiraling out of control. That's what's going on with them. Okay? You, people over here, need to stay far away from fucking them. Okay? Literally fucking them or just stay far away from them. Okay? Oh, hell nah. I heard somebody's on the chopping block on the them side. Mm -hmm. Somebody's hand may get cut off. Somebody's a thief out here. You know they say if you stole uh, something, they cut your hands off back in the day. Look at that shit, okay? Somebody out here a whole thief or people stealing from them, right? So there's somebody who wanted you to lose shit, right? The them wanted you to lose shit, but, and the them was so focused on you and possibly stealing shit from you. I don't know. The them could be a thief as far as stealing shit from you. And so maybe it was going well. Maybe they were stealing some shit from you and didn't realize the people on them side was stealing from them and shit. Then you find out they're stealing from you and you're like, oh, hell no, nah, I don't fuck with you. And then they come back on this side and realize they've been stolen from. It's this type of shit. Who they gonna get mad at? But themselves. Pretty much. Somebody's uh, mad that you know how to like heal, yes. Remember I was talking about where they say it, cause I don't know nothing about it. Cell rejuvi rejuvenation and molecular restoration and all this other shit. Yeah, someone's mad that you know how to do that. But I don't even know if you, some of y'all may know how to do that, like just on 
just healing yourself, you know, y'all herbs and all this other shit, right? And waters and juices and drinks and yoga and whatever y'all do, okay? But this also makes me feel like it's not all you doing it. It's a lot of spiritual protection energy over here, okay? And by some dark energy too and shit. So I don't know. It's like maybe the dark is like, nah, we not finished with them yet. So we're going to help them heal. You know, I really do feel this will be your own demons that you battle with. Like now nah, we want to torment them some more in this life. Which, I mean, it sounds kind of bad, but it's kind of true. Which is the things we battle with every day. So your demons are like, nah, we might not have, we're going to hit. We even, all, even uh, your own demons will heal you in order for you to suffer some more in this life before they let whoever this is send demons to you. If that makes any sense, okay? For, for the mature group that knows what I'm saying, okay? Yeah, if I work hard at it, I'll be where I want to be. Yeah, I know I can. Yeah, nice. I ain't fucking with you, nah. <laughs> yeah, whoever the them is, is a nah. Uh, for sure. Put some on the uh, nine of wands with the judgment and the star. From the outhouse to the penthouse. Yeah, you have a uh, different view. You're enlightened. That's like a panoramic view or you get the whole picture, you know? So you see the light and the dark, the good and the bad, the positive and the negative. I told you, divine feminine, divine masculine, divine masculine, you probably resonated with divine feminine's reading. But this is what I was saying about ba uh, balancing out divine masculine, divine feminine energy or dark and light, period, whatever it is. I feel like you see the benefit from both is what this is. Like, you know, you can't be all love and light, but you can't be all like fuck everybody too. You know what I mean? It gotta be like love and fuck everybody. You know, it's gotta you gotta mix the shit. You know, light and fuck you. It's like this, <laughs> okay? It works for you, G. It just does, okay? And that's how you protect yourself. It's almost like uh, knowing you have to protect yourself. You know, so somebody could have thought because you are a kind person, generous, loving, or talented, or you're very focused on your work that you don't know nothing else going on, or you ain't been through shit. We've had this conversation before, but it says you're very well equipped uh, here with experience and all type of shit in regards to your life and how the fuck shit get down, okay? And damn sure if you're equipped with your spiritual team, they gonna let you know what's up. Somebody don't even have this access to their spiritual team. I don't feel like they talk to God. They hang around rats, break up their own shit. They probably smell funny and shit. For some reason, this ape here giving me like a weird smell, G. Like, like, like they smell like a Mediterranean grill, but you ain't had med like, like a bell peppers. <laughs> like, I don't know. They smell funky, G, like, like grilled onions, but it don't go with food. It's like, why do you smell like grilled onions? You know, like this type of shit. Somebody got a weird smell on them. They're telling me that's what the demon smells like. So, I don't know. The demon got a smell. Hmm. So maybe, you know how like, um, sometimes you'll smell funky ass shit in your house. You'll be like, what is that? You'll smell the garbage disposal. You'll look in the trash can. You'll take the trash out. You know what I mean? Clean the trash can, spray the shit. You like, what is it? Did something die in the walls? Like, what is that shit? Right? And you look and you clean up as possible, as much as you possibly can. You pour bleach down the drain, all that shit. Right? Lemon wedges. Trust me. I, I know what you're talking about. Cause I, I'm, I'm picking up on what you're throwing down. It's this demon shit. Some of y'all be smelling some funky ass shit and you're like, what is that? Some of y'all will smell yourself like, is that me? <laughs> is that me? No, G. That's when you like literally, you know what I mean? So y'all could be taking a lot of spiritual baths too, convent, okay? Is what this is too. But I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's whoever the them is, that's their energy. It even appears as a smell around you. And it look like your house smell good, G. It's airy, a nice breeze coming through it. You know, this like ocean breeze scent. If that's the name of it or woodsy something like your house smell good candles and if you smell anything funky it's them even if they're not there g you may like be looking at your animal like did the cat shit or you know what i mean did the dog piss a shit somewhere y'all gonna be looking for shit like that no it's them it's the them it's like their energy is so strong it's actually manifesting in a scent but that's all it is you know, is that's like that's the closest this person can get to you. So you do remember I was like, shit, whatever you do is just easy. You open a window. You know? <laughs> you open a window, like I don't know what that shit is. Okay, I'm gonna scrub the floor down with lemon, right? Didn't even know, you know, we know like the benefits of lemon on a spiritual sense, right? Uh it helps get rid of bad energy. But this is just you thinking it's just some smell. You don't even know. No, you just then fucking cleansed up, didn't even know that's what you were doing. 
You know, I mean, as far as you know, the benefits of lemon on a spiritual sense, but you were using it as a natural product to bring in fresh air, you know what I mean, into your home. And if there is anything negative, then it shall be gone. Man, you don't even know the impact it's having, G. I'm telling you, it's something that you're doing, Convent, where you really don't have to lift a fucking finger. A lot of y'all, it could just be prayer, okay? <laughs> on some real shit, being thankful and staying in prayer, giving praise and thanks. Uh, for a lot of y'all, that's enough protection. These people or them, they don't even do that. <laughs> they don't even do that. Put something on the hangman with the five of wands in the mirror. Get look. This them. Okay? Somebody straight going to prison. I didn't even notice them little cuffs on his legs. You see them uh, ropes or cuffs? Somebody about to be shackled, G. Yeah, they're a thief. I told you. I got a heavy Aquarius over here as a thief. Could be Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It's damn sure a group of people. It's a theft ring out here or a group of people all mad, getting high, doing dope, listening to music in the background, trying to figure out if they about to go to jail. If it's not them going to jail, this is somebody that's going to go fucking crazy, G. Just stuck in their mind. I'm telling you, somebody going to have a mental breakdown and just start tearing up shit or unfortunately like breaking glass and some people going to get hit in the face. Somebody may not even live. Somebody out here is about to, on the them side, about to bust a whole fucking nutty, G, because they could not affect you. For real, for real. Okay? Whoever's in this person's path or in this person's energy on a day-to-day -day basis is about to be all scared of this, of them. So if this is a boss at your job and they can't touch you, you're like, nah, motherfucker. You know you can't fuck with me. You talk, you talk to them other employees like that. They ripping them employees a whole new asshole, but they can't do it to you. Somebody like really want to like make you work hard, make you do that. It could be some shit where you're like, I don't work under you. You know what I mean? And I know that's why you're upset. Yeah, they are. So they go around and talk to the employees that are under them all fucked up. Uh, this is wrong. This is this. You know I need this by night. I, this type of shit. And you just sitting there like, yeah, motherfucker, you better yell at them. <laughs> you better yell at them. I know you ain't coming up here with that shit talking to me. Okay? Doing that shit to me. Okay? Somebody pissed off about that shit that they cannot... Uh, do you like they do other people or affect you or take something from you or you won't let them back in or some or something won't affect you as far as like some spiritual work it could be in a group of people this feel like a whole group of people came together G, and put their dumb ass brains together eight of swords is a bunch of people who got i mean excuse me eight of swords is somebody who's mentally in prison so this is somebody who's like, uh, got a lot of other shit on their mind and shit while they're trying to fuck with you. Then they go get other people who got a lot of shit on their mind too. So this like other people dealing with issues. They go, all of these people got all these issues. Ain't nobody working on themselves. We should get together and fuck with the youths. Like you motherfuckers can't even uh, fuck with each other. Y'all can't even put y'all heads together, even make some motherfucking money, G. Uh, uh, do nothing. And now y'all want to come together to try to come up with a plan to come uh, get come after the youths. Are you crazy? Yes. Eight of swords. Five of wands. This mental conflict right here. Okay? These motherfuckers crazy, G. And they're going to stay that way. That's, that's, they're going to keep drinking, drugging, uh, partying, or whatever the fuck they do every day. They're going to wake up every day and do that shit and not do anything and be mad at each other, though, now. Not you. I mean, it stems from you. But because they can't get to you, they have no choice but to be mad and, and compete and start chaos with each other. Uh, so like I always tell y'all, a bitch gonna start eating her babies. That's what this is. Yeah, you ain't that bitch baby. Like, bitch, you ain't gonna eat me. You eat your own pups, bitch. Okay? Eat, eat your own little uh, shit up. Yeah, that's what's about to happen. So somebody's about to take advantage of people that were behind them, supporting them on the them side. You, you actually do have real support and people that support you. People are about to be upset with this person, with the them. Okay? Ooh -wee. Let's go to Patreon. Mm -hmm. Somebody damn sure going to jail, okay? For sure. Yeah, they got other things. Them, they got other things to worry about. I'm being told some of them, right, got a husband or a wife and shit that's involved in some other shit. Uh, you know what I mean? Like some shit that they need to uh, be tending to because that spouse is going to end up being investigated or going to jail for some shit that happened at a club or with some kids or some shit like that or some drugs or money embezzlement or some shit like that while they over here trying to emulate you and, and figure out what you're doing. This motherfucker whole life about to fall apart. Yeah. So who, even if the them still continues to do whatever it is that's going to happen to you, I mean, to do whatever it is to, excuse me, even if the them continues to do whatever it is they're trying to do to you, 
right? We already know that shit ain't even hitting, but I feel like the them is still uh, gonna be upset about this for a while. This that one track mind, right? So now they're kind of infuriated with the fact that they couldn't defeat you or do something, right? So now they're stuck in that energy and something's going on around this person that they're not even paying attention to. It's very close to them. So this like their spouse is cheating on them and shit. But this person is so mad they couldn't defeat you. They didn't even know that they man and they woman fucking around with somebody else. Uh, you know what I mean? It's like this type of shit. Then the man or the woman end up leaving this person. And then this person will say, where, where did that come from? I didn't even, what, what are you talking about? You're leaving and all this shit. Where is that coming from? And you know what the spouse going to say? If you wasn't so far up the motherfucking convent's ass, bitch, you would have seen I wasn't happy here, ho. You know what I mean? I've been trying to get your attention for fucking months and you've been infatuated with the yous and shit, bitch. So I'm out of here. Yeah, now they're going to be mad again. Okay, somebody life is falling apart. They don't even know it, but they so infatuated with you. So, I mean, shit, sit back and watch the show, yous. Anyway. We're about to go to Patreon to uh, start with the April preview. If you'd like to follow us there, please click the link in the description box below this video here on YouTube. If not, uh, convent, that's been right back Monday. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single person. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. I'm Entrepreneur Nottero. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. You can purchase your DU gear and eventually, again, your lifelike deck at thegettlenun.com. And I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.